Hello there guys, welcome to another of my live videos, Manchester United 2, Tottenham 1 uh, in Shanghai, 4 wins there, Matt, 4 of them in pre-season, 9 goals scored and only 1 goal um, of course uh, conceded. So the team that Manchester United uh, did start with uh, today, uh, went with a 4-2-3-1 formation, went with David De Gea um, in goal, obviously went with Anwan Saka at right back, um, obviously went with Smalling and Rojo um, at, them, at that centre back position, um, obviously you know, went with Ash Young um, at left back, the midfield, McTominway, Popper, the three attacking midfield. I think Daniel James on the left, Andres Pereira in the, uh, just behind uh, Martial, uh, Mason Greenwood on the right, and of course Martial um, up front because obviously you know Martial uh, was playing um, in that uh, central uh, position. But yeah, like I said, uh, very very um, good uh, performance uh, today uh, by uh, Manchester United. Um, I thought in the first half you know looked really really good. I thought it was pressing high, you know, was playing with a high line, you know, we kept the ball well, you know, we passed uh, the ball well, and I thought yeah, again you know the youth, you know the, you know the young players are uh, really uh, stepped up. I thought Mason Greenwood um, in that first half uh, was absolutely uh, fantastic. I thought he was working hard for the team you know some of his touches and that you know are really really good and I do believe you know he can uh, succeed um, at Manchester United you know Mason Greenwood um, only 17 uh, years in the age obviously Ole Gunnar Solskjaer um, as a short you know Mason Greenwood more playing time going on um, into this season which is um, absolutely uh, fantastic but with these pre-season games you know he's going to get a bit more um, of experience um, under his uh, belt again I thought Daniel James uh, today was absolutely fantastic um, in that first half Daniel James I still say is a prospect and of course he still uh, needs uh, time uh, to develop but I think Daniel James um, has done really really well so far um, in pre-season yeah, again Anwan Saka again today um, absolutely uh, fantastic and I do believe um, Anwan Saka um you know, he's got all the ingredients required, you know, to become um, a huge uh, success um, at Manchester United. Don't forget, um, he only made his senior debut um, in February um, of last year, but I think he's had a fantastic start uh, to his Manchester United career as Anwam Saka. So we have seen glimpses of Daniel James and Anwam Saka so far in pre-season of what good signings, you know, they've uh, proven her to be. But Daniel James in that first half, I thought, you know, was uh, very, very, very uh, prominent. I also thought, you know, Scott Montonway, you know, played well um, in that first half. I also thought Paul Pobby, you know, played uh, really, really well. Um, like I said, Mason Greenwood um, was absolutely yeah, fantastic. So I thought the majority of the young players, you know, put um, a really, really good performance out there uh, today. So it did uh, end uh, by two, it ended uh, two one uh, to Manchester United. Um, obviously, you know, Martial uh, scored uh, the first goal. Obviously, you know, Martial uh, was playing um, in a central uh, position. And I do probably believe, you know, we're going to orchestrate on, you know, putting Martial uh, in a central position, you know, in the Premier League uh, this season because I think he seems to be um, uh, better in that position rather than you know playing uh, Martial um, out wide. But I thought Martial's opening you know, was fantastic, and that's Martial's second goal now, second goal now um, in pre-season. Uh, I think it was Andres Pereira who also had a good game. Um, you know, he was the architect. He was love the through ball from Andres Pereira. Martial receives it and it goes through Gazanega's legs. Uh, goes through Gazanega's legs. I think it was, and that was a one nil. And that was a uh, one nil uh, to uh, Manchester United. I think that was just um, over the uh, twenty uh, minute mark. And there was still other chances in that first half. You know, we could have got more than one goal in that first half. Also, Martial could have got another goal in the game because obviously he uh, hit the inside um, of the post. Um, I do believe uh, that uh, Sissoko should have got his name um, in the book or could have actually you know, been uh, sent off in that first half. Obviously, you know, he did uh, stamp him um, on Daniel James, but obviously, you know, he didn't get uh, any booking. You know, uh, Sissoko. Um, I think you know Pogba had an ambitious effort. You know, just towards uh, the end um, of the half, but Tottenham didn't really do much um, in the first half. I think they only had that one chance uh, through Dele Alli, um, but it was an absolutely uh, fantastic uh, save uh, by uh, David De Gea. So I think that's the only chance you know, Tottenham uh, did um, have um, in that first half. Um, obviously, Ole Gunnar uh, Solskjaer rotated at half-time. Obviously, you know, a new team came on um, in the second half, so he obviously you know, put a new 11 out um, in that uh, second half. In the second half, I thought Tottenham you know, revitalised uh, themselves. You know, to be fair, I think they looked much better in the second half. They, Tottenham, you know, they were playing with a high line. They were making it difficult for us. You know, they were keeping the ball very, very well. You know, they did uh, create uh, quite um, a few chances, uh, did Tottenham, I think, you know, they look very, very good. I think Sun inspired them when he came on because, you know, Sun uh, had quite um, a few uh, chances uh, for uh, Tottenham. I think one, what just uh, went over over the bar with a chip, and I think he also um, had another one, uh, did Sun. Um, obviously, Tottenham um, had got on a uh, level terms, I think, in the 65th minute, was it, uh, through um, Lucas uh, Mara. To be quite fair, you know, it was um, very fortuitous, yeah, it was Tottenham's uh, goal. Um, it was a shot from Lucas Mara. It had got deflected, and of course, um, it went uh, back uh, into the back of the net, and obviously, you know, that was a uh, 1 1. Um, obviously, like I said, uh, Eric Bay uh, went off um, injured um, in the game, which is a, a shame uh, to see. And like I said with Eric Bay, you know, he's really, really good, you know, when he gets them games, you know, he shows a great uh, potential as Eric Bay. But I think his Manchester United career has been mainly affected, you know, the amount of injuries um, he has uh, sustained. Obviously came off um, injured uh, today. Um, obviously, you know, Alex uh, Tuanzebe, you know, came on uh, to currently replace him. And again, I thought Alex Tuanzebe, you know, looked impressive when he came on. I thought Lindelof looked very, very good um, in the second half. I thought Mata looked very, very good in the second half. I thought, you know, um, also Rashford looked very, very good 
um, in that uh, second half. Angel Gomez, like I said, was fantastic. So the majority of the young players um, have been doing really, really well. But the one thing I do like about pre-season, I know it's meaningless, but like I said, it gives the upcoming players a chance, you know, to get a bit more of um, experience um, and that um, under their uh, belt. And I thought Andrews Pereira, you know, was, was definitely, you know, very, very good um, in that first half. But Manchester United uh, got the winner, uh, I think it was in the 18th minute mark, you know, 10 minutes... Um, uh, before uh, the end uh, lovely little play you know between Juan Mata um, and Angel Gomez and of course Angel Gomez of course um, got the winner uh, for Manchester United so we did win the game by two goals one he actually I think could have uh, actually you know, slotted it into Marcus Rashford but it was a lovely finish uh, from Angel Gomez you know from an acute angle you know to be uh, quite uh, fair to him but I thought Tottenham were the better team in that second half I'm going to be uh, quite honest with you but I thought in the first half you know Manchester United uh, were very very uh, dominant so what a fantastic start you know we you know we've uh, currently uh, had uh, to uh, pre-season um, obviously as Solskjaer did confirm uh, prior to the game obviously Lukaku did not play um, obviously um because Solskjaer did mention that Lukaku, you know, was working with physios um, in the last uh, couple of uh, days, but obviously he did declare out that, you know, that Lukaku, of course, um, still was, wasn't uh, still uh, fit enough uh, to play. So obviously he's not yet uh, made um, an appearance um, on tour. Obviously Lee Grant's not yet made an appearance on tour because I still believe um, he's injured. Obviously Sanchez is still injured um, at the moment. I do believe Fossil Mensu is injured. Demet what's his name? Demetri uh, Mitchell, um, of course, um, is injured. So there's still quite a few players that have not yet, you know, made um, an appearance um, on tour. There was still quite a few chances in that second half. I think, you know, Fred. Uh, Again, you know, he was impressive when he came on. He did well in the Inter Milan game when he came on. I think he had a decent um, effort um, in the second half, uh, did Fred. So there was, there was quite um, a lot of uh, chances um, in that uh, current uh, game. But I thought overall um, our attacking movement was good. I thought it was creating chances, you know, it was making it uh, difficult for Tottenham. We kept the ball well, pressed high um, up the pitch. And overall, you know, a pretty uh, decent form from Manchester United. But credit Tottenham, you know, they did uh, come into it um, in the second um, half. Um, and all that. I also believe uh, two of our uh, uh, players uh, got butt term as well um, in that uh, current uh, first start. But I can't really give a man of the match because I thought the majority of the players played well. I said Anwan Bissaka was fantastic. Daniel James, again, was fantastic. And we've seen glimpses of what good signings you know, Daniel James and Anwan Bissaka have proven to be so far because obviously they've started pre season well. And I think Anwan Bissaka's Manchester United, he's had a great start to his career with Manchester United. And I do believe he's going to be our full backer for the next uh, decade. Uh, Lindelof, like I said, he was impressive you know, when he came on. Um, he was impressive when he came, you know, came on. Like I said, Tuan Zebu was impressive when he came on. Obviously, Luke Shaw and that came on as well. Obviously, Luke Shaw won uh, the Player of the Year uh, last season. Um, I think Luke Shaw didn't do too bad, you know, when he came on. So, I thought the majority of the players, you know, uh, played uh, really, really well. I thought the midfield totally looked uh, balanced. I thought the midfield, you know, looked um, absolutely uh, superb. And it's going to look superb, you know, when you've got Pogba in it um, and all that. Um, obviously, you know, Matic uh, came on um, in the second half. But every time, you know, Matic, you know, plays, you know, he seems to slow that midfield down because obviously, you know, he's slow, he's too ineffective. Uh, ineffective um, is the man you uh, and all that so um yeah, pretty uh, decent uh, performance uh, from Manchester United. But I knew this was going to be a tough test because, you know, Tottenham are a very good team. You know, they have been competitive for a number of years now um, with Tottenham. And, you know, they have got um, a really, really good team. And, you know, this is the best team they've had in this generation. This is the best team they've had um, in this generation, you know, for quite uh, some time, uh, Tottenham. Um, obviously, this was Tottenham's uh, second uh, pre-season uh, game. Tottenham did have quite um, a few um, injuries, though. Uh, so, I think they had quite a few young ones out. You know, ben, I don't think Ben Davis played. I think they also had Derek Dyer injured. I'm not, I'm not too sure about Hugo Lovish, you know, was Hugo goal obviously um, ill um, uh, so they had quite um, a few uh, players out you know they did uh, Tottenham but um, like I said with Tottenham you know they've been competitive uh, for a number of years now you know they have got really really good players obviously Tottenham uh, obviously Pochettino's expectations you know uh, this season you know probably you know will be to win um, a trophy uh, with Tottenham because obviously hasn't won out in terms of silverware yet you know um, Richo uh, Pochettino um, but that will be um, Richo Pochettino's um, expectations. Obviously, Tottenham got to their first uh, Champions League uh, final uh, last season. I think it was um, against uh, Liverpool. Obviously, you know, Tottenham had lost uh, by uh, two goals uh, to nil. Um, obviously, you know, Tottenham um, are obviously, you know, looking to do more transfer activity. Um, obviously, you know, they've got two players uh, so far um, on the board uh, this summer. Obviously, they signed Tango under Belly, was it, for around £60 million. Pounds. Obviously, they played um, a club record fee for him. Um, obviously, you know, they've got Jack Clark from Leeds, but obviously, he's being loaned back, back uh, to Leeds uh, for their uh, next season. And they've still got other targets on there agenda, you know, they're in for Giovanni La Celsa from Real Betis, Tottenham have been long advisors of him I still believe uh, they're in there from Ryan Sessignon uh, from Fulham, um, I do believe now they've entered the race uh, for uh, Paulo uh, Dybala so I think Tottenham have orchestrated on your know, spending quite a bit of money uh, this summer, because before they did get them two plays in Tottenham, obviously they didn't do any transfer activity um, in the last uh, couple of uh, windows, um, but yeah you know, Tottenham are a pretty uh, decent uh, side you know, don't forget last season, uh, they actually you know, beat us 3-0 um, at Old Trafford, I think we won over there by uh, one goal uh, to nil but this was only Tottenham's second pre-season game 
Kane because they did win the first uh, game um, against Juventus. Of course, uh, winning by three goals to Harry Kane, um, of course, um, had scored there uh, from the halfway line. Um, but yeah, very, very good uh, result uh, for Manchester United now. Of course, we've got two games now uh, remaining um, in pre season. Um, obviously, we've got uh, Christian Sund. It's Christian Sund on the 30th of this month, um, if I'm right, and that's obviously in Norway. That's where I originally know where um, Oligan and Solskjaer are from. I'm not too sure what happens now. Do we travel to the UK from China or do we travel straight from, uh, you know, uh, do we, do, we, do we travel straight from China you know, to um, Norway? And I'm not too sure of them about uh, that. And then after Christian Sund, of course, our last pre-season pre game is AC Milan um, on the 3rd um, of August. And, of course, uh, that is in uh, Cardiff um, and all that. So two games in pre-season left. But we've had a fantastic start uh, to uh, pre-season. I've been very, very happy. You know, nine goals scored, four wins um, out of four. Um, and uh, only uh, one goal uh, conceded. And like I said, Lucas Moura's goal, you know, was very fortunate um, indeed. So really, you know, looking at, you know, that shouldn't have uh, currently happened. So, so far... We're beating Perth Glory 2-0, we're beating Leeds 4-0, we're beating Inter Milan 1-0 and we're beating uh, Tottenham uh, by uh, two goals uh, to one. Like I said, Martial scored two goals in pre-season, Mason Greenwood has scored two goals um, in pre-season, also Rashford has scored two goals um, in pre-season because he scored against Perth Glory and uh, Leeds United. So yeah, very, very impressed and I think Martial, you know, very, very good player um, he did and he was good in his debut season with Manchester United, you know, he scored, what, 17 goals um, in his first season uh, with the club. He has been at Manchester United, what, uh, four years now um, as uh, Anthony uh, Martial and I do believe he's a long-term solution for Manchester United I know Martial's performances you know were you know in, in the last couple of months of last season you know way below par just like Rashford's uh, way uh, below par I think Rashford was inconsistent in the last couple of months of last season because to be fair he had sustained quite a few injuries and you know that might have taken him it's all in but Rashford and Martial are definitely long term uh, solutions uh, for Manchester United because both players have done really really well so far in pre-season we've got that pace now up front and you know that's something we was lacking last season because we didn't have a lot of pace last season and you know this is why we wasn't scoring enough goals we might have been creating chance but we wasn't scoring enough goals we wasn't ruthless enough um, in front of their goal but we've got that pace now up front you've got Daniel James with like trying pace you've got Martial we've got fantastic pace you've got Rashford and that that's got a fantastic uh, pace but Martial I think we should orchestrate on you know orchestrate on putting Martial centrally um, in the Premier League uh, this season because that's where we'll see the best out of him but there again Rashford you know seems to perform better centrally you know than playing um, out wide because obviously Rashford can play out wide Martial can play out wide and of course uh, they both can you know can, yeah, play uh, centrally but Martial's been here four years and we did I think we paid around was it £36 million pounds for, him, uh, for Monaco back in 2015 um, obviously, you know, uh, it was initially 36 million, but potentially rising up to 57 million pounds, you know, based um, on goals um, and achievements. You know, Martial's 23, you know, Rashford's what 21 years of age, so they still both uh, got um, a lot of uh, years um, ahead of them, but. Um, yeah, very, very impressed there with Manchester United. And I do believe, you know, we're going to have a better season in the Premier League this season than what we saw last season. Because last season was disappointing, you know, we finished sixth. Obviously, you know, we didn't uh, win uh, many silverware um, uh, last season, but we haven't won any silverware um, in the past uh, couple of uh, seasons. I initially said in the Premier League this season, our expectations will be at least to finish um, in that top four. That's what I think. But I think now, I think we'll have a better season this season. I think probably we may finish in the top four, maybe finish in the top three. I don't, I'm still sceptical about us winning the league uh, this season because I still think there's lots that needs to be uh, yeah, I'm addressed them um, in the squad because uh, analysing at the moment, your know, City is trying ahead of us, you know, Liverpool um, is trying them ahead of us. So I'm very sceptical about us uh, winning uh, the league uh, this season. But I do believe Oligan and Solskjaer is the right man, you know, that can take Manchester United forward, you know, get, get us back to, you know, glory, get us back up there challenging, um, and of course, uh, winning a uh, silver um, and all that. So I'm, I'm definitely, you know, backing them, Oligan and Solskjaer. But I still believe, you know, lots of work, you know, still needs to be uh, currently uh, done um, in the team um, and all that. Um, but still, you know, basically, a yeah, lot of currently um, address um, in the squad, and we've got to be more competitive um, in this uh, current uh, uh, window because obviously we've only signed uh, two players uh, so far uh, this summer. And I do believe now Oligan Solskjaer's priorities will be to recommend an experienced centre half. And, you know, we also want to add uh, reinforcements um, in that midfield, and of course, um, we're also in uh, search uh, for the winner. So these are uh, lots of uh, players um, on our uh, current um, agenda. Uh, but like I said, we've got to be more competitive in this window because there's only what two weeks now remaining of this tran uh, transfer window. I think it's just over two weeks, or it is uh, two weeks. But Oligan Solskjaer, you know, believes Manchester United will be aiming for further play than fourth this season because he was recently about speaking uh, speaking about um, our ambitions, you know, going on um, into the, this season um, and all that. But I do believe we'll be better um, in the Premier League uh, this season. But what a fantastic start Manchester United, um, of course, um, have had uh, to pre-season. So anyway, guys, drop your comments, likes below on the channel. Um, if you do consider uh, subscribing, um, as always, and take care. God bless, and I'll see you all again very soon. And we'll be back soon uh, with some transfer rumours uh, to give you an update on, as always. Take care, God bless, thanks for watching.